military investigation determined it was actually two fuel spills that led to the Navy's tainted tap water. But the one in November went on for more than 30 hours. Tonight, we look back at the early days of the disaster. Fuel operators noticed a discrepancy in the fuel level of one of the tanks that's located beyond this gate. We think that it might be as much as 20,000 gallons, and it's important to understand that it might be considerably smaller amount. I have a high degree of confidence that petroleum products from this incident have not migrated from the Red Hill tank facility <coughs> towards the Red Hill well aquifer. Department of Health does not believe that this situation is an imminent threat. Thanksgiving weekend, families living in and around Pearl Harbor started complaining of fuel smells, a sheen in their tap water, and even yellow ice cubes. That's massive amount of things that should not be in my water. On Monday, the state health department advised 93,000 water users along the Navy's water line to not drink the water. Nearly five days after the complaints, a lab contracted by Hawaii News Now found diesel in a sample from the Navy's water line. They did find a trace amount of diesel. No, oh my word. Later that evening, the Navy confirmed its tap water was contaminated. I'm pretty depressed. It is, you know, this was all foreseeable. We knew this was gonna happen. Nobody listened to us. The source of the contamination, the Navy's underground World War II era Red Hill bulk fuel storage facility, which had a history of leaks and sits 100 feet above Oahu's aquifer. Navy families who've apparently been drinking tainted water for days now are fuming at military officials for failing to warn them early. I'm ruthlessly trying to find out when those reports were made and who they went to and why we didn't find out about them because I, I need to fix that. And as soon as you step inside, you can definitely smell some sort of fuel. In fact, even to the feet, it's pretty slick. Yeah. The water is definitely different. And once your hands dry, you can feel sort of a gritty and oily nature to the water. So to see somebody else feel it, see it, know it, now what goes through my head is, how long have I been poisoning myself and my kids? Investigations by the U.S. Pacific Fleet pinpointed May and November 2021 spills and a series of cascading failures. Then a trolley hits a low point drain on this sagged pipe and the fuel spills out. The team that's there is inadequately trained to respond. Can you give us a number of how many people were disciplined, reassigned, or fired because of this water disaster? Uh, there are a number of people who are no longer in their assigned duties. Military teams saw 6,000 people for a slew of illnesses, rashes, headaches, nausea, fatigue, dizziness, and intestinal issues. Many were hospitalized, civilian families impacted too. Seven public schools couldn't use the tap water and 4,000 military families evacuated. Many lived in hotels for up to four months until the state health department declared the water was safe to drink. I've just cycled between depression, despair, anxiety over and over again for the past, you know, since November and on top of that, my entire family was ill. 